and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I have another video in the declutter series that I have been doing lately. And this is the lip product declutter. I'm going to be going through all of the lip products in my collection, giving you little mini speed reviews and decluttering some of them. And like I said in the past couple of declutters, I'm not going to be decluttering a whole ton of products. Uh, I do have quite a lot of lip products and I will be decluttering some of them. But if you're looking for like a juicy getting rid of half of my lipsticks video, this isn't the video for you, unfortunately. But I hope you still enjoy seeing the lip products in my collection, letting you know my thoughts about them. With lip products, I really am not gonna pass them on to anybody unless I've not used them or they're barely used. Products that are really old or things that are just getting nasty, I'm gonna toss them, okay? I'm not trying to give that to anybody. If you do like declutter videos, please give this a thumbs up while you're watching it. And I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. All right, so I've got three categories of lip products here. I have bullet lipsticks, lip glosses, and liquid lipsticks. So let's get started with bullet lipsticks first. All right, so I have these three that I'm definitely not going to get rid of. These are some of my favorite lipsticks in my collection. These are the Juvia's Place bullet lipsticks. They are such good quality matte lipsticks for an affordable price. And they are truly matte. So if you don't like a matte lipstick, you wouldn't like these, but they're not like drying on the lips. They're just so beautiful. This is the shade Libra. This is probably my most favorite one. It's like a brown nude. Ooh, they just like glide onto the lips so easily. I have the shade Me, which is a little bit more a little bit deeper than Libra, but pretty close. And then I love this one, hashtag 2020, which is more of a mauve shade. Absolutely beautiful. I reach for hashtag 2020 quite often when I am doing a cool tone look and I want a mauve shade. So that one, love keeping all three of those. I'm gonna try not to swatch every single lipstick cause we'll be here forever. All right, one that I know that I'm gonna get rid of this one is from Odin's Eye. This is the Velvet Lipstick in the shade Fig Jam. It is just a really bright reddish purple kind of shade. I've only ever used it once. I did get it in the Odin's Eye Mystery Box that I bought at the beginning of the year. So I am actually gonna be able to pass this on to someone because I really haven't used it, but it's not a color that I reach for often. And when I have a bold color like this, I typically like it to be in either a matte lipstick or a liquid lipstick. All right, I have these two lipsticks from Oma by Sharon C from Walmart. This is the Oma Beauty sister brand that's sold at Walmart. And I have the shades Unfiltered and Underrated. So these are really pretty colors. Unfiltered, I get way more use out of. It's more of a mauve kind of purpley shade. The one that's called Unfiltered, is that? No, Underrated, this kind of brown. It's very cool tone brown. It is really pretty, very unique in my collection. These are matte lipsticks, but they're not super opaque. They're a little bit more on the sheer side. They're nice for the drugstore. I don't really like the packaging. They're kind of feels cheap and they're hard to like screw up and down, but I am gonna keep these because I do use them quite often. Next, we're gonna go into the Milani Color Fetish Lipsticks. These are my literal favorite lipsticks from the drugstore and maybe some of my favorite lipsticks in my collection, period. So I have the shade Tease, which is my favorite one. It's just like a light brown nude. I have the shade Pleasure, which is slightly more pinky nude. And I have the shade Poppy, which is this bright red, which I love, love this red lipstick. So I'm absolutely gonna keep these. They're incredibly high quality. They're matte lipsticks that don't feel dry. They last forever and they're really nice and smooth to apply to the lips. Okay, so I have three of the Milani Bold Matte Lipsticks. I have the shade I Am Fierce, which is another like bright blue toned red. I have the shades I Am Confident, which is a little more of a brownish red. And then I have the shade Shoop, which is from the Salt and Pepper collab, which is a true brown. I'm gonna keep the Salt and Pepper one. I really like this one. I did use it not too long ago and I really enjoyed it. But these two I've had for a really long time and I have honestly maybe used them once each. Like I really haven't even used them at all. So I'm gonna get rid of these. 
This one is brand new to my collection. This is also from Oma by Sharon C. But this is the like moisturizing lipstick formula. I'm still in the process of testing it, but it is a very, very sheer, like as you can see when I'm swatching it, you actually can't even barely see anything. It adds more of just like a shine. It smells like, uh, like spearmint gum. <laughs> But I'm gonna continue to use this one. I've been enjoying it. It's not my favorite lipstick in the world, but I do like it. This is one of my most favorite, favorite lipsticks in my collection. This is the Give by Gwen Stefani, matte lipstick in the shade Lovable Me. This beautiful brownish, oh my gosh, brownish nude. Once again, it's a matte lipstick that is truly matte on the lips. It glides on really creamy and it's not drying. I like the packaging. I love this tone. This is like the most beautiful, unique brown nude that I've ever seen. Another one that I'm definitely not getting rid of is the ColourPop Cream Luxe Lipstick in the shade Dark Lord from the Star Wars collection. Look at the packaging on this. It is stunning. And then when you open it up, the embossing on the actual lipstick is also beautiful. And I love this warm nude shade. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the Cream Luxe formula. It is just like a more satin lipstick. Very comfortable to wear. It's not super opaque. It has a little more of a sheerness to it, but really stunning. This is one of my most favorite lips, lip products in my collection. And I actually lost the first tube of it I had and I had to repurchase it. I still have not found it. It's just gone. This is the NYX Filler Instinct High Shine Lip Color in the shade Beach Casual. This is a super like moisturizing, sheer, glossy, really comfortable lipstick from the drugstore. Definite minty tingle to it. So it's supposed to be plumping and it is somewhat plumping. Like there is an, a mintiness to it. I love the shade. It's just like this very nude, nude, nude pink. Stunning shade, great formula. Highly, highly suggest this one. All right, this one I'm gonna get rid of. This is super old. This is the Elf and Jen Atkin collab. And this is like the brown nude. Yeah, look, it looks old. It looks crusty. Okay, that's disgusting. It has a lip liner and a lipstick. And I really actually loved this product. It is a very matte. It's almost drying though. I did enjoy it while I had it, but it's gotta go, it's, it's old. Another one that's super old that I'm gonna get rid of is the Milk Makeup Lipstick in the shade Skills. I did try to wear this the other day and I put it on my lips and it smelled and tasted nasty. So I am gonna get rid of it, although it is a beautiful lipstick, really, really beautiful tone and the packaging is magnetic closure, love that. Really he uh, like heavy weighted packaging, but it's too old, it's gotta go. One of my favorite drugstore lipstick in my collection, this is the Essence. This is nude lipstick in the shade Bold. Such a unique tone really beautiful. It literally just glides so easily. I would say it's more of a satin finish, not matte, not super shiny, very comfortable. The f one downside is the scent <laughs> is quite strong. It smells very perfumey, but I look past it because of how absolutely beautiful this lipstick is. So nice and it's so affordable, definitely keeping. All right, I think I can let this one go. This is the Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Lip Cryon. You know, you see a lot of brands doing these matte lip crayons and I like this one. I kind of wish it was more pointy. It's very, very rounded. So it is kind of hard to line your lips with it, which I feel like is kind of the point of a lip crayon to just have an all-in-one situation. It is a very deep, like purpley color. I did wear this quite a bit. It is a little bit drying because it is a matte lip crayon and I just don't find myself reaching for it. So I am gonna get rid of it. And I just pulled this one from another bin because it's along the same lines. This is the Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon from Milani. This is in the shade Can't Even. This is same kind of idea, but way more pink. And this one's way more glidey. I don't feel like it ever dries down to be like super duper duper matte. It is more of like a satiny type of feeling. I'm gonna keep it around a little longer cause it's not super old and I'll decide maybe next time if I wanna get rid of it, but I'm gonna to try to get some use out of it while I can. All right, these two lipsticks, they gotta go, they're so old, although the formula is so incredibly beautiful. Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks, but they're the shine ones. Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. This is in the shade Baddest Beige. I'm gonna have to repurchase these. And this one is in the shade Chocolate Lust. Oh, beauty, 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 beauty. Absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning lipsticks. Truly beautiful, honestly. Um, but they're so old, they have to go. 
They're that like super shiny finish. Yeah, I might repurchase them. Stop it, get some help. Another one of my most favorite discoveries this year was the Flower Beauty Perfect Pout Moisturizing Lipstick in the shade Blossom. It is just this gorgeous, slightly deeper nude color, but still a warm nude, really beautiful. I've been really using this one a lot in the fall and it's really easy to apply. It's a moisturizing lipstick, so it's pretty high shine. So it doubles as like a lipstick and a lip gloss. The formula is great. It doesn't have a scent to it or anything like that. Really love it. And if you've been here before, you know I love the ColourPop Glowing Lip. This one is in the shade Indulge Me. It kind of reminds me of the Flower Beauty. It's slightly lighter though. Just an easy purse lip product that you can put on without a mirror. I love the small little applicator. It fits onto my lips perfectly. And it's a great, great formula from ColourPop. I have four lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I have three minis and one regular size. The regular size is in the shade Walk of No Shame, which is this beautiful red, definitely keeping that. And then I have Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk Medium, and Pillow Talk Intense. I love Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks. I think she does an amazing job. They are, the packaging is luxurious. The formula is really, really nice. I feel like they last forever on the lips. They're matte, but they're not drying. They glide on the lips really well. I love having these little minis. It takes me a long time to get through a lipstick, so I appreciate minis. And I'm definitely keeping these. All right, next I have the Urban Decay Matte Lipstick in the shade Back Talk. I remember this from back in the day. I did get this like pretty recently in a uh, free gift with purchase situation, but I don't really need this lipstick. I have a couple of cool tone mobs already that I've saved. So I'm just gonna give this one away. I've only, honestly, I don't even know if I've even used it at all. So I'm just gonna pass this on to someone else. Next I have the Huda Beauty Matte lipstick in the shade Interview. I really like this one a lot. It's a mini and actually I'm almost done with it. It is just like this mauve really beautiful nude color. I have worn it and I've really enjoyed it. The formula is really easy to apply, very creamy, but it is a true matte. Really nice, I'm gonna keep it. And last but not least, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Last High Shine Brilliance lipstick in the shade Close Off. This is a high shine moisturizing lipstick that's a little more on the sheer side. It is a beautiful pinky nude. It Mine is broken, but I'm still gonna keep it. It's new to my collection and I've really been enjoying it, so I'm gonna keep it. So here on the right are the 23 lipsticks that I am keeping, and here on the left are the nine lipsticks that I am decluttering. All right, I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that. So uh, let's move on to lip glosses next. The lip gloss bin is overflowing over here. So first of all, I have the ColourPop Luxe Lip Gloss in the shade Imperial. I did mention this in the worst products that I tried this year. I really don't like the formula of these lipsticks. I love the packaging on this one, the Star Wars logo that's like holographic. You know what, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I was thinking about keeping it just for the sake of the packaging, but I don't, I don't need to do that. It's just gonna sit here and collect dust. So I am gonna pass this on to someone else. Um, I'm never getting rid of this. Uh, this is my second tube of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. It is my favorite lip product of all time. I will always have one of these in my collection. This one I actually just took from my purse because it lives in my purse. It goes with every single lipstick, lip liner that I use. It's super easy to apply. It makes your lips look juicy and glossy and hydrated and it's just magnificent and I love it and I'm keeping it. All right, this is a fairly new one to my collection. This is the ColourPop So Glassy Lip Gloss in the shade Kinda Obsessed. I bought it thinking it was pretty close to the Fenty Gloss Balm, which as you can see, it kind of is, but the formula is not as good. It's a little bit more on the sticky side. It's not unbearably sticky, but it's not like my most favorite lip gloss formula, but I am gonna keep it around a little bit longer considering that it is new. And I do like how it looks once it's on the lips. It's just 
getting it there is not like the best experience in the world, but it's not terrible. This is one that I got in my uh, ColourPop mystery box, the most recent one. I got a set of three rollerball glosses and I just kept one. This was like the blueberry one. I actually love this more as like a lip oil or a lip treatment while I'm doing my makeup. I just kind of roll it onto my lips. It's very, very oily and this metal tip is really cooling on the lips and the smell is magnificent. So I will be keeping this one. This is another one that was a disappointment to me. I did mention this in the worst products I tried this year. This is the Give Beauty Bubble Pop Electric Gloss in the shade Sweet Tooth. Packaging, really nice. Smell, really nice. The look on the lips is really nice, but this is very sticky, like very, very, very sticky. I don't like how it feels at all. So I am gonna pass this on to someone else and maybe they'll get more use out of it. And I just got it during this last Sephora sale. All right, this is the lip gloss I'm wearing on my lips today, actually. This is the Nomad Fête et Provence lip gloss in the shade Miel. It's a very unique gloss in my collection. It's a pink with a gold like sheen to it. And I think it's really nice. It's not my favorite lip gloss formula in the world. It is not sticky, but it's not super glidey. It's not like the Fenty, I compare everything to the Fenty Gloss Bomb. But it's still a good gloss and I still wanna keep it and I am gonna keep it. All right, this is one of my most favorite things I discovered this year. This is the Essence Make Beauty Fun Plumping Lip Gloss. I have mine in the shade Swipe for Happiness. It is just this beautiful clear gloss with micro glitters, but this one is, I'm not even sure why I'm swatching it. There, you can't see anything. <laughs> it is really, really comfortable on the lips. It glides on really easily. The smell is minty. There's a slight minty tingle, nothing crazy. And it makes your lips look very, very glossy. I'm very impressed with this, especially for the price. So I'm gonna keep it. All right, I'm gonna let go of the Elf and Duncan Glaze for Days gloss. I do really like the smell. Like it smells like a legitimate donut. I don't know how they did it. It's kind of weird, but it's very orange. And I like an orange lip, but this is like very, very orange. So I'm not gonna keep it around. Also the formula is not very glossy. It's more of like a balmy formula. Eh, it's not my thing. I'm gonna get rid of it. All right, another one that I'm gonna declutter is the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Cashew. I've had this forever. I bought this when they launched them. So how many years ago was that? and it's starting to get kind of funky and it smells kind of funky. Yeah, it doesn't smell good. So it's, it's time for it to go. I do love this formula. It's very oily, very shiny, very lightweight on the lips. Not the longest lasting gloss, but still a beautiful formula. I would consider picking more of these up in the future, but I've got enough glosses I think for right now. I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Another really nice formula that I discovered this year is the Besitos de Perla Shimmer Liquid Lip Balm from Alamar Cosmetics. Very, very, very shimmery gloss. And it is like a balmy gloss, but in a really good way. It's really, really beautiful, really packed with sparkles. It smells like pina colada. It is a little bit more of a thicker formula, but it's not sticky at all. Like I said, it's balmy. It's a super unique formula in my collection. I'm gonna keep it. And by the way, I have this one in the shade Corazon. Um, if you saw my favorite products I tried this year video, you know I love this damn lip oil from Fenty Skin. Why can't they make a bigger component? Because it's so tiny and it's $24. Like, please. I love this lip oil. It's the best lip oil I've ever used. The smell is so good. The effect on the lips is very shiny. You could wear it as a gloss. It coats your lips so nicely without being sticky. It lasts a long time. I love it keeping it. I have the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat in the shade Fussy Heat. I really like this one for like a pinker lip. It is very plumping though. Like I am not that sensitive to plumping, but the first time I used this on my bare lips, it, it was spicy. I find that if I put this over a lipstick, it's not that bad if there's a barrier between my lips and the gloss, but I still really like it and I'm going to keep it. One of my most favorite glosses that I don't ever use, I need to pull it out of my collection and use it more. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. It is a straight up clear gloss, but it is super luxurious on the lips. The applicator is so interesting with this curved doe foot. It coats your lips in the most glazed donut way. It just fills in the lines on the lips. It's a lip plumping gloss, but it doesn't have any burning sensation or anything like that. 
Stunning gloss, absolutely gonna keep it. All right, this is a new one to my collection this year. This is the AF94 Give Em Lip High Shine Lip Gloss. I have mine in the shade Honey I'm Home. It is just like this nudie brownie gloss. It's really pretty. It coats the lips in a nice way. It's definitely more of a thicker gloss without being sticky. I kind of wish that it had a nice scent to it. It's unscented completely. That's kind of the only downside I see. It's a good gloss. It's nothing magnificent, but I am gonna keep it. Okay, another one of my favorite lip glosses I tried this year is the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss. I have mine in the shade Lizzie, which is a clear with a glitter reflect throughout it. I love this gloss. It is definitely more on the thick side, but I don't find it to be sticky. It coats your lips in a really nice way, giving them a very, very glossed effect. I really like the applicator, it being a clear gloss because with a doe foot applicator in a clear gloss, I feel like my lip color gets inside the clear gloss often. But with a applicator like this, I can just wipe it off and it doesn't get into the gloss and turn it a weird like nasty brown color. So I like it and I'm keeping it. I have two of these. I didn't realize that. And they're both open. What a dink. I should have, uh, all right. Well, this is the, this is Milky Gloss in the shade Milk and Honey from NYX. I love this gloss. One of my favorite glosses. Actually, I should have put this in my favorites because I think I discovered it this year. I love, love, love it. And I am kind of like two thirds of the way done. So I have a backup. I did get this as like a free gift with purchase but I am going to keep both of these because I love this gloss and I do use it quite often. Along those same lines is the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Madeline. A really OG classic, comfortable, beautiful, great smelling gloss. Reminds me of the This Is Milky. The This Is Milky is more milky, obviously. This is just a gorgeous like warm tone nude gloss. I'm definitely keeping it. I think I can get rid of this lip gloss from Alamar Cosmetics. It is in the shade Birthday Suit. It is a gorgeous like pinky with small reflect gloss. It is very sticky though. Like it's quite thick. It does make your lips look very, very glossy though, but I just don't love how sticky it is. And I've had it for quite a long time. So I think it's time to let it go. I have two of the ColourPop Lux lip oils. I really love this lip oil formula. It's one of my favorite lip oil formulas, actually. I've gone through an entire one of these. This one is in the shade Local Time. So I did repurchase it. And then in one of my mystery boxes, I received it. Now I did actually put it on my lips, so I couldn't put it into a giveaway, but I am gonna see if one of my sister-in-laws wants it because I did use it, but it's brand new and I don't need two full size ones. I'm not gonna go through this one that fast, especially because I have the Fenty Beauty lip oil, which I prefer over this one, but it is a really good affordable lip oil. It feels very nice on the lips. It's not sticky. And the only problem is it doesn't have a scent. I wish it had a scent. So I am gonna declutter this one and I'm gonna keep this one. All right, I have this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. I really like this formula. I still prefer the original formula more than the cream formula, but I do still like this and I am gonna keep it. All right, this is from the Elf and Chipotle collection. Man, I need to pull this one out. I I barely used it, I forgot it was there. This is the Make It Hot Lip Plumping Gloss. It has like a cinnamon effect to the lips and I loved the Chipotle collab. Like I, I have everything from the collab and so I'm gonna keep this one. All right, and then I have the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Apricot Glow. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't really love, love, love this formula. I would like it so much more if the applicator was smaller. I just feel like the applicator is too big for my lip shape so that when I put it on, it goes over my lip line and it just looks kind of silly. I, I think I'm gonna get rid of it actually. Hopefully someone else that I can give this to can get some more use out of it. It's just not for me. All right, so I have 17 lip glosses that I'm keeping and seven lip glosses that I am going to be getting rid of. Okay, pretty good, sounds about right. And now we are on to liquid lipsticks. All right, so liquid lipsticks are like my least used lip product. I usually wear a, either just a lip liner with a gloss on top or a bullet lipstick. So the first one I know I can get rid of is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream. I did mention this in my worst products I tried this year. I really didn't like this formula. It was incredibly drying. The color is so good and the smell is incredible. Like buttercream froth, like, my mouth started tingling just then. But honestly, it's just too thick. It dries down to completely dry. It makes your lips cracky. I don't want it. Getting rid of it. All right, I have these 
three luxe velvet lipsticks from ColourPop. I actually like this formula quite a lot. It doesn't dry down completely. There's like a silicone-y feeling to it. It gives more of a blurred effect to the lips. They're not super duper opaque. I am gonna keep these two shades, the shade Zoom Zoom and the shade Dance Off. And I am gonna declutter the shade Honey Pie. I did get this one in my most recent ColourPop mystery box and I did put it on today for the first time and I really didn't like the tone. It's just kind of, I don't know, it just didn't look good on me. Maybe it's my skin tone or something. I really, really didn't like it, but I don't know if you can see, there's more of like a blurred effect to it. So I'm gonna declutter this one and keep these two. All right, I have all of these liquid lipsticks from the brand Unearthly Cosmetics. So I got these three, like the longer ones in the mystery box, and I bought these three individually. So the ones from the mystery box are really fun colors, a dark green, a black, and a purple. I am gonna keep these just because they're brand new to my collection. I don't really reach for colors like this very often, but I do enjoy these just to have them, especially maybe for like Halloween next year, I'm gonna keep these. And then these ones are really nice. I have the shades Fatal, Grim and Leaves. Fatal and Leaves look pretty darn similar. Uh, there's not much of a difference. And I will say these show up a lot darker on the lips than they look in the component when they dry down. I do like them. They definitely dry completely down. So it's not my favorite formula, but I don't find that it's overly drying or anything like that. And so I am gonna keep these around just because they're pretty new to my collection. All right, this is a pretty new one in my collection too. This is the About Face. Paint It Lip Color Matte in the shade Canyon on Fire. It is a bright, bright orange. I wore this this summer. It's such a unique color. This definitely does dry down completely and it is a little bit drying. I am gonna keep it around for one more year to see if I can get some use out of this color more in the summertime. It's not my favorite formula, I'll be honest with you, but it is a unique color in my collection, so that's why I wanna keep it around. Okay, I really like this liquid lipstick. This is the lip kit from the Jimi Hendrix collection from the Rock and Roll Beauty line that just launched this year. This is in the shade Mellow. It's a really pretty light, actually it's absolutely gorgeous. This like brown, warm nude, really beautiful. But again, this one does dry down completely. If I put on too much of it, it becomes a little bit drying. So I just use it very sparingly, but I really like this color a lot, so I'll keep it. All right, this one I am going to declutter. I did mention this in the worst products I tried this year. This is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream in the shade Nude Suede. The color is just way too light for my lips and the formula is just extremely thick. It sits on top of the lips and with it being such a light color, it just looks so obviously fake on my lips and there's a line of demarcation. I don't like it. I don't like it, I'm gonna get rid of it. So this is a brand new formula for Urban Decay. This is the, doesn't say the name on here, but it's like the Vice liquid lip or whatever, where you shake it, you apply it, and it's a glossy lip color that does not transfer. I have mine in the shade Pleased. It's a nice lip product. It is a bit finicky if you're not careful. It does feel very heavy and sticky on the lips, but I feel like when I apply it and I don't touch my lips together for a little while while it sets down, it's less sticky. The first time I used it, I put it on and I like mushed my lips together and it was really nasty. So it is a little bit finicky, but I am gonna keep it around a little bit longer because I haven't used it that much and it is new to my collection. All right, and then I have these three liquid lipsticks from Rare Beauty. I really like these. Again, they are more of that velvety silicone type of formula like the ColourPop liquid lipsticks. They're not super duper opaque. I really like them. Um, I've had these for quite a long time though. That's my only reservation. This one is in the shade Inspire. It's just like an orangey red. This one is in the shade Fearless. I did wear this one. Yeah, they still feel good. They still smell good too. And this one is in the shade Heroic, which I think is a really unique like magenta, purpley, fuchsia. Oh, that's so pretty. These are the three colors. I think I'll keep them around a little bit longer. I do really like them and they're like brighter different colors for my collection. 
Okay, this one I can get rid of. This is the Odin's Eye Alva Matte Lip Stain in the shade Perfect Plum. It is just this like plum liquid lipstick. I just don't see myself using it. The color is not for me and I didn't really love this formula when I used it. So I am going to let this one go. And then this one is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Perfectionist. I don't love this color. It's a little pink for me and I'm not a huge pink lip person. And this is very much like an old school, very liquidy liquid lipstick that completely dries down. It's not incredibly uncomfortable, but it's not one that I see myself reaching for. So I am going to declutter this one. All right. And then the last two I have here, this is the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquer. I really like this formula. I just wish I didn't have this color because this is a liquid lipstick that does not ever dry down. It stays tacky. And with a color this bold, I really don't like wearing it because I'm scared it's just going to get all over my face. One wrong move and you've got red lipstick on your cheek. So I think I'm going to declutter this one, even though it is a really nice formula and the color is pretty. I just... I don't see myself using this. And then last but not least, I have the Flower Beauty Perfect Pout Soft Matte Lip Color in the shade Blush. It's really nice, like the packaging, it's glass and it's quite heavy, especially for a drugstore formula. And again, it kind of reminds me of the Huda Beauty one. It's a pink leaning mauve. I just don't see myself wearing this color. It's not a color that I reach for. It's not a color that I like on me. So I am gonna declutter this one, even though the formula is nice. All right, so I am keeping 14 liquid lipsticks and I'm decluttering seven. All right, sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> all right, so here are all the loose ones that I'm getting rid of and these are the lip products that I'm keeping. Much better, like there's a lot more room in these bins for me to not be overwhelmed, like I can actually see everything, which is nice. And again, these are all ones that I'm not using. I don't like the colors or they're old, so it's time for them to exit my collection. There is only one more video left in this series and it is going to be my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. Get excited, I have a lot of palettes. I have a lot of palettes, so that's gonna be a long one. But I hope you enjoyed this lip collection and declutter video. Let me know if you did by giving this a thumbs up. And I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know if you agree with any of my choices about what I've decluttered or let me know about any formulas that I don't have that you really love. I would be happy to add one to my collection now that I have more room. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.